one day, it's Sony Fortunato from the technology firm. I ran into this tool just a few months ago, and I've been playing with it. Um, far from being an expert, but it's a neat little tool I thought I'd share. It's the CompuWare Dynatrace Ajax Edition. Now, there are two versions of it. The premium, obviously premium means dollars, cha-ching, cha-ching. And the free version, which I've been playing with. So on the CompuWare website, CompuWare.com's website, uh, you could just search for Dynatrace, or you could just Google Dynatrace Ajax, and, and it'll come up pretty quick. Um, and there's a, a bunch of differences, but I found so far the free version, just, just these little things that it does, is actually kind of helpful. So if you are in network uh, troubleshooting and you do get dragged into the application um, or the server side of things, then this uh, tool may just help you out. Let's get into it. So I'm just going to minimize this guy. And just kind of stretch this over. There we go. And this is what it looks like when you start it up. And the only thing I did was I went to my little E and hit the arrow and manage run configuration. And I created, just pull this guy over, I created this configuration, the techfirm.com, and the URL is just going to the techfirm.com. Now this is cool. I can clear the browser cache. So every time I run this config, it'll clear the cache, um, and that way I don't have any extra images and stuff in there, and it always loads from the server. All right, So I'm just going to click OK. Now if I want to run that, I can just hit my pull down, select my configuration, click, and now there's IE, and it's just waiting for the techfirm.com to load. As well, don't forget, it cleared the cache as well, so that's why there's that bit of a delay. And there it is, done. So now I'm just going to shut down my browser, and there's my session, the techfirm.com, with the date. And if I come over here, I've been playing with this timeline report. So when you come over to the timeline, it shows me things like the page I was on, shows me my CPU, which is kind of cool. And then over here, it breaks up things like the JavaScript. See how I hover over that, and all of a sudden it shows me the script. Over here, this big green bar tells me that it's been drawing, which is kind of nice. Down here obviously, well not obviously, this site Fidget is loading some uh, Shockwave Flash and so on and so on and so on. So there's a lot of things going on and as you move over each one it tells you more details. So if I was to pick something, for example this guy, and just double click it opens it up, tells me that's a techfirm.com, tells me obviously there's no cache because I told it not to, the status, so on and so on and so on. So I find this to be a really interesting little thing to get into if you are doing uh, web server type troubleshooting and you want to see how long things load, uh, what parts of the page or components are the, the slowest. This pretty well spells it out right here. So I think just with that, if you did play with it, the rest would be fairly obvious. So that's it. It's Tony Fortunato from Tech Firm. Have a good day. Bye for now.